Why, you've arrived in the very nick of time. That is my name, and welcome back to Dead Secret. Now, I was a bit of a stoop at the end of the last episode because I was looking all over this place because I knew they had made references to Lafcadio Hearn before, and I just completely forgot about this missing book right here. So, bam. I can't push the book all the way back. Feels like it's hitting something. What? Wait, there's something jammed way back there. It's a flat triangular wedge. There's some sort of foreign writing on it. Wooden wedge. What's it say? What's it say? What's it say? What's it say? Hmm. Wooden wedge, eh? Hmm. A wooden wedge, you say? Hmm. No, no, no. A wooden wedge, wooden wedge, wooden wedge, wooden wedge, wooden wedge, wooden wedge. Now, where would that go? Wait a second. What secrets are you hiding from me, Globe? I'm on to you, Globe. Ha ha! Whoa! What? It's a small box. Let's get a better look at this. Look at it on the desk. Agreed. Oh wow. Uh, one of the buttons is missing. Wait. North. Underneath it, it reads north, no dial tone, of course not. Wait, I remember, it's the sequence, the sequence. The sequence is west, east, north. Well, dang it, I don't have north, or do I? Wow. I am just, I, <laughs> I'm not going to survive this, you guys. West, east, north. West, east, north. What? I know that's what it is. West, east, north. Yeah, okay. Well, wait a second, wait a second. Oh. They tried to trick me. West, east, north. <gasps> what the fuck is this? I see the lenses fit into the mask's eye sockets. It's like a weird pair of goggles. Oh, that is... Oh, snap. <gasps> Why does that devil mask look different than all the others? Okay. Oh, ah! Hi! Hello! Who was that? I don't know, man. I don't know, man. What is this? Oh, boy. Okay, there's, there's something over there. There's something over here, even though this is right where Devil Man was sitting. Is there something more to this painting? There was a page tape to the back. Josie, if you're reading this note, then something must have happened to me. I may be dead or missing. If so, you're the only person who can save our research. The truth is that I'm being threatened. It started before I left the college. I get notes every few months from somebody calling himself Woodcutter. What he wants is access to our research. He wants me to turn over our plans for the Lunar Dream Apparatus. Josie, my life is in danger. Woodcutter knows things, secret things about my past that nobody should know. 
I will not yield to simple blackmail. But lately the threats have escalated. I am sure that I am being watched at the house. I sometimes hear things on the other side of the wall. Yesterday, with the mask on, I thought I saw somebody reaching for me. It's a warning from my subconscious. I am no longer safe here. I've locked our research away in the safe upstairs. I want you to retrieve it and leave. Destroy everything before you go. Burn the house down if you have to. Just get the research and get out of here. Head for a big city where it's easy to hide. I'm counting on you, Joe. Don't let our work fall into their hands. Woodcutter primary suspect. I knew there was more of this story. Whatever bullet was mixed up in, I bet there's evidence in that safe. Who is Woodcutter? Open the safe upstairs. Okay. Yeah, let me just... Uh... Oh, God, I hate this ominous music. This is a really this is this is a pretty cool game mechanic though. All right. Okay. Man, I move so slow. My hunch was right. Bullard's death is definitely fishy. Better stop and review my notes. Here's Bullard's body was found by Bobby Sawyer. That's it. Oh god, am I getting quizzed? Bobby ran odd jobs for Bullard. Could he have done it? He certainly had the opportunity. Bullard was scared. He was worried about losing his secret research. That's it. Blackmail. I knew this would be a scoop. Somebody wanted Bullard's research. He must have been killed for it. Bullard was being blackmailed by Woodcutter. That's it. Woodcutter. What is that supposed to mean? This is the kind of juicy detail I came here to find. Okay, to sell this story, I need some real evidence. Let's go check out that safe upstairs. Yeah, let's let's do that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Hey, Mir, you wanna you wanna pull some shit again like last time? Do you? Okay, no, not this time. Okay. All right. I'm guessing these are the stairs. Oh. What's that sound? Monkey goggles, help me. Where are you? You, you want to play? You want to go? I must warn you. I'm very good at walking. Left or right? Well, I'm left-handed, so maybe I won't die. Hmm. How about more mirror shenanigans? Oh, sure, let's let's equip it. Uh... <laughs> oh. Hey, buddy. So that's what I'm looking for, eh? Hero says helicopter may win Vietnam War. Da Nang, South Vietnam. A Medal of Honor winner from Kansas said the helicopter may win the war in South Vietnam. Marine Major Douglas Big Tom Thompson, 39, of Fortuna, won the nation's highest military award during World War II, manning a bazooka in Iwo Jima. Okay, well, all right, that did nothing for my case. Not much of interest. That's what you think. Hey, how about another window jump scare like last time? This window is painted shut. Oh, yeah. You dumbass jump scare crows. I'll never forgive you. Oh, there's stuff here. Must be Josie Herrera's room. What do we have here? Dear Diary, today is an anniversary. It was five years ago today that I found Dad's name on an old research paper at the UFC. He had written it in 1933, eight years before I was born. I didn't know he had gone to college. I didn't know he had any sort of skills whatsoever. I thought he was just kind of a kind of a, kind of a bum who really didn't do anything. Uh, I had never really thought about his life. He was just a name on my birth certificate. Dad ran out on Mama after the war. <laughs> God. Ugh. 
the war ended, life went on, mama died without ever finding out what happened to him. I don't know why I gave this accent to this random girl. I used to hate him, hated the idea of him, hated my mother a little bit too, I even hated the dog. I don't know, I just had a lot of hate in my life. I figured dad was just a deadbeat, he dished mama because he didn't want a kid, but when I found out his name in the, in the library, something changed. I couldn't stop thinking about him. Deadbeat dads don't study physics, do they? What is he doing now? What does he look like? Is he married to somebody else? I chased him here to Kansas, but finding him is taking longer than I had expected. Came to Kansas to look for her father. Josie's about my age, I guess. She said she was only Bullard's assistant, but the spinsters are all sure it was something more. The spinsters? Those might be people I want to talk with. More stuff. Aha! I found something. Bobby. Here is your latest chapter all tied up. I think this story is becoming very interesting, and I'm sure you can get it published. I hope you don't mind, but I made a few edits and inserted a few details here, and uh, I'm looking forward to your next chapter. The Crystal Cave by Bobby Sawyer, the guy who found the body, Chapter 3. The man had been dead for hours when they found him. He had crawled halfway up Sarah Johnson's porch steps before coming to rest just outside the door, his feet dangling off the edge like spaghetti that somebody had cooked too long. <laughs> if his legs were hanging like spaghetti that someone had cooked too long, that would require the non-existence of bones, bro. Old Sarah just about keeled over when she saw his spaghetti legs flopping around. Uh, detective story, uh, aspiring fiction writer, helping Bobby with his writing. Okay, well, let's get to the chest. Hmm. Something is holding the lid closed. There's a small dial mounted on the front. Uh... A small dial mounted on the front. What the heck? It might say reporter on my desk, but I spend most of my time at the standard making coffee for the editor. I'm tired of bothering about the time. This story is my shot at the big news. When I prove that Bullard was murdered, all the big papers will come calling me. I'm trying to complete this second letter quickly. This is it. It's the chance I've been waiting for. Wow, so I guess the handprints are her backstory. Ah, small dial mounted on the front. Show me your secrets. Show me everything. Whoa. Shut up, crows. Uh, the devil man was kneeling in front of this thing, and I've got to get in it, whatever it is. Ah, uh, there's got to be something around here I haven't found yet. Shut up, crows. I swear to God. That chair looks pretty comfortable, but I don't have time to rest. No, I don't. I gotta solve a murder before the police come back to their crime scene, and they're all like, what are you doing in here? You don't have any clearance to be here. This is a court and all crime scene, according to law. So you gotta get out. And I'll be like, no, I'm a journalist with a broken arm. Fight me, bro. Josie moved in with Buller last year after he retired. The busybodies had a field day. Josie's quite a looker. I don't think she'd waste her time on the likes of Bullard unless she... Had a good reason. Maybe she really was just helping him with his research. And that's where the plot ends. Or maybe there's something across the way. Smart guy? Did you ever think of that? I'm sure it's fine. But just in case... All right, sweet. Oh! Hi, you! Wow, so those yoga classes are definitely paying off, right, bro? I mean, I mean, what position is that? Um, uh, spider, backwards spider thing? Oh. Is he still there? Oh, you're still there! You're, you're just gonna watch me. This whole time, aren't you? Aren't you?
You're still there, aren't you? Hi! Hi, you! Are you gonna kill me? Alright, well, y you just chill there. Now, clearly he's a fan of my work. Fireplace is full of logs. Well done, journalist. He's a fan of my work. He's, he's watching me work. It's a plate with a circular dot. Aha! That must... That must be what goes on the chest. Mr. Devilman, I figured it out. Oh, you don't... You're not even looking at me now. Okay, I, I get it. What? Bill told me to cover Bullard's death, but he's just looking for gossip about the young assistant. But I took it seriously, did the research, followed every lead. Every lead. Like a real journalist would. It paid off. I found something everybody else missed. A note, a half thought, scribbled in the margins of the coroner's draft report. A note. It read, hypothermia in summer. Wow. Hypothermia in the summer. A knocked over lamp? I knew there was something shady about this. Someone knocked over this lamp. Hey, look, it's a box. No useful evidence here. Just boxes of clothes. Just boxes. This like table has been emptied already. Somebody needed to get out of here in a fast motion. Let's go over to this safe. <laughs> Here's the safe, but it's locked! Find the safe combination. <laughs> Okay, well, let's see if our devil friend is still here. Oh, he is. Oh, he's not going away anytime soon. All right, well, now that I've got this circular dial, I'm going to do a little more exploring and try to get into that box next door. So until next time, thank you for joining me, and my thoughts are with you wherever you may go.